Okay, guys, let's talk about check valves, uh, some of the applications and some of the functions of these valves. Uh, basically, the function is pretty simple. Uh, it allows flow uh, to go in one direction and it blocks flow uh, coming in the opposite direction. Uh, this over here is a hydraulic symbol for a check valve. Uh, if you look at it uh, coming from Let's say right hand to left hand, you have free flow coming from here to here. Uh, a flow just goes through the valve. And on the opposite direction, uh, let's say from left to right, now you have flow that is being black. So it's a free flow one direction and a black flow in the opposite direction. So what kind of applications uh, can we have uh, for these check valves in hydraulics, right? Uh, so I just wanted to give some example of different circuit schematics and hydraulic application for these valves. Uh, for example, or oh, this one over here, we have a crossover pilot operated check valve. Uh, on this one is used to black the cylinder into position. Uh, let's say you are going to extend the cylinder. Okay, fluid comes through here goes through the valve, free flow in one direction, it uh, tries to push the cylinder, the cylinder tries to extend. Uh, the cylinder cannot extend because now is the flow is being blocked by this check valve over here. So in order for it to extend, uh, you are using this pilot line. You use this pilot line when this pilot has pressure, now it opens up the check valve and it allows the cylinder to extend. Allows the cylinder to extend and now uh, you have flow going through this check valve and go back to the directional control valve and goes back to the reservoir over here. Now, if you have flow in the opposite direction, you try to retract the cylinder, you have the same thing. Flow goes through the check valve, uh, try to retract the cylinder, the cylinder cannot retract because now you are blocking the flow coming out of the cylinder in this direction. So you use the pilot line, there's pressure in the pilot line, opens up the check valve, the check valve is open, and now you can retract the cylinder, it, go, it goes back to the, uh, to the directional control valve and back to maybe the back to the reservoir where, where the flow is discharged. So that is some of the applications. In the normal position, in the normal position, the cylinder cannot move anywhere. It's black. You cannot go anywhere. It's black. No fluid coming in. No fluid coming out. And um, so you maintain the cylinder in position. It does not matter if uh, if gravity, for example, is pulling it one way, or or if an if another force is pulling the cylinder in or pushing it out. It just doesn't go anywhere. It's black. The only way to move it is through the directional control valve and the pilot operated lines. Uh, let's check out another application over here. Uh, let's say the meter out system, a meter out system. Uh, in this, in this uh, example, let's say uh, you try to extend the cylinder. Cylinder has been extended, it comes over here. Fluid has been black on the, on the, on the extension, on the return uh, fluid of the cylinder. Um, you, you cannot extend that cylinder. So in order to do that, you have a needle valve. The needle valve, you can open and close it. The, the more you open it, the more fluid you allow out of the cylinder. The more you close it, the less fluid you allow out of the cylinder. And therefore, you are metering, meter, meter out the fluid of the cylinder and controlling the speed of the cylinder. So that is a meter out system. Now let's say you have a meter in. It's the same thing, but in the opposite direction. Instead of if, instead of controlling the fluid coming out of the cylinder, now you control the fluid coming into the cylinder. So fluid is restricted over here. It cannot go through the check valve, so it has to go through the needle valve that you open and close. Now what happened when the valve is here, but you have in in this particular example. Uh, let's say you retract it, you're retracting it, there's nothing in over here, and on the retraction, on this valve, it comes free flow, and it retracts the cylinder, it goes back to the reservoir, as if nothing would be there. So it's meter in, meter out, you only restrict it in one way. Uh, there's a lot of uh, valves, sandwich valves that are sold, 
uh, to be put on on top of the um, of the directional control valves that you can meter in and meter out a cylinder, or 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 a or a um, or a hydraulic motor. It does not need to be a hydraulic cylinder. You can do the same with a hydraulic motor. So that is in another application uh, for the for check valves over here. Uh, another example, um, you know, one time I, I saw this and like, why in the world would somebody put in a check valve in the suction of a pump? You know, and uh, some of the applications, uh, some of the machines that I've seen, it had a check valve uh, just so the pump would not become a hydraulic motor. You also flow in some of, in some of the applications, uh, you, would, you would have some pressure back from the uh, back from here back to the pump and it will push fluid uh, from the pan back to the reservoir so in order to stop that uh, they put in a, a check valve over here and so you're sure to maintain fluid going in one direction uh, for the uh, for the for the pump so uh, <laughs> I've, I I'm not gonna comment anymore on that there's uh, somebody that does uh, I've seen it like that but that's that's as far as I'm gonna let it go so anyway uh, so another application uh, that I have over here is um, it's a high low system a high low system um, is basically you combine uh, the fluid of two pumps at a certain pressure and in another pressure, you only have one pump working. So let's say uh, you have a thousand psi. At a one thousand psi, you have, let's say, pump number one goes through is is pumping through through the check valve. It goes up to the through the to the system, both pump the combination of both pumps both flow. And let's say you reach a thousand psi. Uh, at one thousand psi, now on this part of the circuit, uh, now you have a, a valve and you unload the fluid from this pump at a thousand psi to a to a discharge pressure to unloading valve on this side of the, of the system so 1000 psi at 1000 psi now this pump it keeps on pumping it keeps it, it keeps keeps pumping oil but it cannot go through the check valve the check valve blocks it it opens it in, in one way but it blocks it in the other way so this pump is discharging over here while this pump keeps pumping to the system and and the check valve does not allow any flow going in the opposite direction so uh, over a thousand psi you only have one pump working and under a thousand psi you have two pumps working at the same time so that is a high low system in which uh, you you have a combination of two pumps uh, let's say maximum system pressure maximum system pressure can be 2000 psi at 2000 psi now this pumps a discharge maximum uh, hydraulic pressure to the system and that's the maximum pressure system that you would have so another application for this uh, for uh, where you could use a, a check valve is a hydraulic accumulator system in which you have a hydraulic pump it goes through the check valve pumps fluid builds out pressure uh, on the accumulator and you have uh, the pressure and flow requirements going out to the system uh, at a certain pressure with this unloading valve over here uh, you have a pilot line that says you know the system reaches x amount of pressure right let's say the 2000 3000 psi whatever that is at that pressure the uh, unloading valve opens up and the hydraulic pump is now discharging fluid through the unloading valve over here the check valve it closed it closed the check valve and now the hydraulic accumulator is the one that holds pressure to keep the the check valve closed and it holds pressure and fluid to the system now uh, this application there's a lot of reasons why uh, you would have an application like this let's say you have a platform and let's say you shut off the pump or, or or the pump is not working or something and you want certain amount of pressure and fluid to be in the system so that you can let's say lower a platform or move a machine out of the way let's say a mobile machine and you move it out of the road so you need some pressure 
uh, in some amount of fluid to do a certain type of work uh, for emergency or for whatever reason that, that you may want it. So that is uh, some of the application that you, you could use check valves for. Um, and that's the video that I wanted to do today uh, for different applications. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, always leave uh, questions in the comments below. below. And um, yeah, thank you very much for your attention. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.